afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. Hey, we made it through another week. And yes, I'm different. I shaved my beard off. This COVID-19 wearing a mask is messing up my beard game. So it's looking like really matty and scraggly. So going with the mustache, let me know how you like it. Hey, I'm your personal chef, Chef Troy B. And welcome to I Got the Dishes today. Today we have a lovely and vegan meal today. Uh, vegan stuffed mushroom using portobello mushroom caps and some other fancy ingredients that you can find anywhere. So long as well, as long as you got a Trader Joe's nearby. But other than that, these are easy recipes. This is a very easy recipe. Um, we're going to be the method we're going to be using today is roasting, and we're just going to pop it in the oven. I got it preheated to 375, um, and then uh, while that's cooking, it's, um, I'll show you how to saute off some kale real quick to add, add to your meal. But you know how we start the show, I cast a vision. So my vision is to strengthen, renew, and restore interpersonal relationship through the sharing of meals and the joy of cooking. I'd like to thank everybody who's here that showed up. Um, um, oh, definitely, when you get done watching this video, hit my bio, hit the link, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I rebroadcast all these on here. My goal is trying to get a thousand subscribers by at least the end of November. So if you can help me out and you can share my page, that'll be fantastic. I love you all and hey, let's start to cook something. So come on in Mr. Tyrus, my cameraman extraordinaire. So what we're going to be using today is, this is the truth right here, the soy chorizo. I had it when I was doing my 90, my 30 days of veganism, plant-based dieting, plant-based eating in the, in the beginning of the year. I fell in love with this. This stuff is fantastic. You won't even know it's not meat. Um, so in that, we're going to stuff, uh, we have some walnuts, which I'm going to grind. That's a, little, that's a heaping cup, if you're keeping track, of walnuts. It's going to give a nice little nutty crunch, creaminess. Um, I have some really huge portobello mushroom crap caps. And then we're gonna add to that some sun-dried tomatoes um, and olive oil. So it's gonna be real nice. And I picked all this stuff up at Trader Joe's, um, my, my usual store, my hangout. Um, I spent probably about $15 total on everything. And that's big jars of stuff. And But this is a real inexpensive meal. Um, and it's, it's really healthy. So let's get started. So there's really no cooking with the first part um, until we put it in the oven. But first we're gonna grind up our, our walnuts. I'm using our mini chop today. I'll try to get away. The fun part is always making sure you got the cap on right. So we're gonna pulse this down a little bit. I don't want it real fine. Maybe like a coarse grind on it because I want a little bit of texture. And about right there is where I want it. Orion and Shelly said hi. Orion, Shelly, hey. So that's where you want it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump this in my bowl here. Into that, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Good pinch. And then... This is really good too. If you're trying to cut down on your salt, this 21 uh, seasoning salute is fantastic. This literally has 21 different seasonings in here. So I'm gonna put a good heap in here. About that much. It's probably about a teaspoon. Pop that in there. Just a small pinch of salt. I'm gonna add my julienne. Sun dried tomatoes along with the with the oil. And now since these portobello mushrooms are pretty big, I'm gonna add about half a package of, of this uh, soy cerezo here. So it comes already, it comes in a package within a package, and you can see you can see the colors and the spices in here. It's this stuff is mind blowing. So if you can find this, it, it goes for about $2.29 in Trader Joe's. So it's very inexpensive. Um, and it makes really, really great eggs in the morning. If you're doing like a, a burrito or something like that. So 
just gonna take my knife and just run down this casing here. Open this up. Uh oh, live TV making a mess, but it's okay. So I'm gonna rinse my hands off. As you can see, you can see the color and the seasoning in there. It's gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna wash my hands off real quick. And mix this up with my spoon, break this chorizo up. So you can see it's, this is like the easiest recipe. So I hope you're enjoying my show and I hope it's inspiring you to cook a little bit more or just cook a little differently or take some chances. So I know I'm having fun. Uh, the editing part is a bit challenging. You got a steep learning curve on that, but I'll get that down. Um, I just love doing this. I used to teach at Williams Sonoma until COVID stopped that, so I missed teaching. So we're going to take this, and I cleaned out the gills by the portobello mushroom. You just take a spoon and just rub all that, all the brown, the dark brown stuff out, and you just stuff these real good. So this is probably going to be a very short show today. So I hope that you're all logged in. I hope you're paying attention. Hope you're calling, telling your friends, hey, Chef Troy, Chef Troy B is on Instagram Live showing us some cooking stuff. Come check him out. So please definitely tell your friends, I'm going to do this as long as y'all like to see me do it and as long as the Lord gives me strength to do it. So you can see, this is like, this is probably like the easiest recipe that we'll probably do, except for I make sandwiches because we got to have a sandwich show. So we're just going to stuff this out and you can see all that goodness right there. So give it a little pat down. Hope everybody's going to have a great weekend in this age of COVID. So you can see it's just all stuffed in there. And now I'm going to take a little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. This will add a little extra layer of crunch, a little texture. So you want your food to be interesting when you when people eat it. So you can be textural, it can be temperature. You may have something hot served with something cold. Uh, you know, the way you season. You just want to have something that makes people say, hmm, this is, what is this? I love it. Can I have some more? So we're just gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs around. Super easy today, super easy. The hardest part is gonna be making the kale. So that's good for the breadcrumbs. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it over the top. Just a little bit, help to round up the breadcrumbs. And bang, those are ready to go. So I got my oven preheated up to 375. It's probably going to take about a good 10 minutes or so to get all this together. But this is a quick and easy meal that you can do during the week. So I'm going to pop it in my toaster oven, which is, I love this thing right here. That's a whole nother beast that hopefully I can get some sponsorship for. <laughs> so... So that's it. I mean, literally, that's it. So we're gonna switch over. And I'm gonna show you how to saute kale. And that's not gonna take long either. So if you got any questions, the time to ask is now. And we're gonna grab a pan. Portable burner set up. Now I like to Let's grab a good old bag kale. Got some stems in here. I, I like the stems. Some people don't like the stems. I like the stems because for me it gives you another little textural crunch. So I got my kale. And it's already washed. Uh, I like buying the bags because it's already washed. It's already cut up. Uh, 
you know, it's it's great. So if you don't if you don't have the time or you don't have the inkling to buy fresh kale, wash all the sand off of it, cut it up, peel it, and all that stuff, it's okay. Just buy some bad kale. It, it's it's pretty hardy. It's a pretty hardy plant, so it lasts for a long time in the refrigerator. And um, you know, do your thing. This is going to be a simple, easy recipe. Now with that stuff, with that stuff, and you can add whatever you want. If you want to add some lentils, you can add that. You can add uh, some some kind of beans, maybe chickpeas. Uh, you can pretty much add anything to that filling. If you want to add some spinach, you can julienne some spinach up, mix it in there. Um, so it's really, that's the sky's the limit type of thing. And if you wanted to make it where you had meat, you can use, you know, ground beef, veal, uh, ground turkey, whatever you like, you know. So don't be afraid to play around with the recipe to suit your needs or suit your guest needs. Um, I like that because I have some clients I cook for who are vegetarian. So it's a nice little meat substitute. So, you know, mushrooms are the meat of the, uh, <laughs> are the meat of the vegetarian world. So, so I'm going to turn my fan, uh, turn my fan on. I'm going to turn my pan on. And we're keeping on the medium high. You want to get it hot. Now when you're sauteing, you want to get your pan hot. And then you want to get your fat hot, whatever fat you're going to use. So we're just going to use some avocado oil today because it has a high smoke point and it's a neutral flavor. So we're going to get that hot. I can tell it's getting hot because I had a little bit of water in the pan and it's starting to boil off. So we take that, add a little bit of Add about two tablespoons of avocado oil. Swirl that around. Now when you start seeing the waves, it means your oil is hot. If you can get a little closer to your tires. Yeah. So you can start seeing the little ripple, the little shine in there. That means it's hot. So now you gotta be careful because kale has a lot of water in it because it's a leaf. It's a leafy plant. So you're gonna get some popping, you're gonna get a little sizzling because oil and water don't mix. But don't be afraid. We're going to add that right in here like that. And it's okay if you get a little popping. This is pretty nice bag here. So, as you know, when you cook down any kind of leafy green, it's going to, it's going to wilt down. Kale's pretty hardy, so it doesn't wilt down a lot, but it will wilt down. That's a big stem, so we'll just take that out. And we'll just leave it at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper. I'm a little heavy handed with the garlic. Garlic's a good salt substitute. You can see it's starting to wilt down already. Take my tongue, move it around a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more oil in here. Touch more, a little swirl. So when you start to get to that stage where it's looking wilted, maybe get a little brown edges. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of white wine. This will take the bitterness out. And I'm gonna steam it. I'm just gonna grab a lid. Yeah. I 
I told you this is a quick meal today. <laughs> so, so how do you know if you need eat? How do you know if you need more oil? Um, it just kind of the pan was dry, and it was uh, the pan was dry, and you started to see a little bit of uh, starting to burn a little bit. So right here, I can really turn it off and let the carryover heat finish this up. It smells really good. Uh oh, there's the smoke detector. Uh oh, hold on. Exciting! Cooking's exciting! So it's probably a little hot, so I'm just gonna burn my hand. And there you go. A little bit of wilted kale. Excuse me for a second, let me go blow this thing off here. We're all good, everything's good. <laughs> ah, the joys of cooking. So, so there we at. There we have a little taste. Perfect. That's really good. waiting for the mushrooms now. Let's move this stuff out of the way. One day I'll get a bigger kitchen. But we make do with what we have. Just like the song says, just be thankful for what you got. So you know you may get a little little culinary brown pieces in there. So we got a nice bed for our mushrooms to sit on when they come out. And see, once again, you're going to get, if you're a stem person, you know, I like stems. But I like that, that extra crunch. That like, oh, that's nice too. So you can see that's a real easy, quick and easy, took like no time. I'm going to check on the mushrooms and see where we're at with those. Those are looking good. Those are smelling good. Those are smelling really good. And really, we're just heating it through. The, the chorizo, you can pretty much eat out the package. Um, it's soy, of course, so it has um, high in protein. About a serving has 9 grams of protein. Completely plant-based. Uh, some people don't like soy because they say it has estrogen. But it really has photo, uh, photo, phytoestrogen, which actually blocks the receptors for receiving estrogen for guys who think that, you know, if you're eating uh, too much soy, that you're going to turn into a woman all of a sudden, but you're not, okay? So um, uh, there's a great, if you're interested in a plant-based diet, there's a great show on Netflix called The Game Changers, and it talks about world-class athletes who are plant-based. That's all they eat. There was a guy on there who broke the world record, who set a world record, matter of fact, for carrying a little over a half a ton, 33 feet, and all he eats is plants. So, um, you know, vegan, vegetarian, they, they kind of have a, I like to say plant-based. Kind of takes the, the crazy, the, the little crazy sound out of it. So, but a plant-based diet is real easy, a lot of planting, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, got a plan, it's, it's, it can be intense. So if you're thinking about switching over to a plant-based diet, do one day at a time, do a meatless Monday. Uh, and then maybe as you progress, you do, um, you know, I'm doing a meatless Monday and I'm doing Friday, you know, plant-based Friday. And you just slowly, gr gradually get into it. And find, find a good cookbook, find people who are doing it. You know, this, this is the world of information. So today we can get, you can get pretty much everything. So, I'm just going to pull these out, and, um, and like I said, today's a quick hitter. Let's see where we're at. 
Oh yeah, just a couple more minutes, but you can see how the, the breadcrumbs are starting to brown up. So a couple more minutes, and those will be ready to plate up. Anybody got any questions out there? Uh, plant-based smoothie. Plant-based smoothie? Smoothie. Plant-based smoothie. Uh, uh, you can use a plant-based protein, uh, kale. I like to slice, well, in my, in my blender, you can literally take a slice of lime in there. It takes the bitterness away. Uh, a little bit of uh, agave and some grapes or some green apples. Makes a nice green base, green smoothie. Very healthy, very filling, especially once you add the protein in there. Protein is going to help you feel full. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, anything that doesn't have any kind of uh, animal based proteins pretty much is a vegan protein. Um, later on, I'll show you how to make a nice vegan sandwich that's that'll blow your socks off. So, there's a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of stuff, you know. People eat vegan more than they think. You know, if you're eating pasta without meat sauce, that's vegan. You know, if you're eating, uh, you know, a salad with no meat in it, that's vegan. So, you eat vegan more than you think you do. Um, if you're just doing a vegetable plate at your favorite soul food place and they don't have any meat in the greens or the, or the, the, the green beans or anything, that's a vegan meal. So, uh, you know, vegetable stocks, enhanced flavors. When I make my greens for Thanksgiving, I always use a, a vegetable stock to boost the flavor profile, um, to substitute for a smoked piece of meat. I use smoked paprika. Not a lot, because it'll change the color of the water, but just enough to bring a little smoke in. And even sometimes I'll put a little liquid smoke into, the, into my pot liquor. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do uh, to go vegan, I mean, or, or do a plant-based diet. So don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to try stuff. I mean, one of my favorite quotes is, in order to make delicious food, you have to eat delicious food. And I believe that. So um, that's from Sushi Master Jiro from the movie um, I, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And he's a sushi master in Japan. Great story. Uh, but yeah, so there's a whole bunch of, there's a, there's a big movement now. Uh, about moving us from uh, eating meat, which are like the one guy said that we're, they're the middleman because all they do is eat vegetables all day anyway. So, uh, and just going straight to a plant based diet. So, I'm thinking about it because I've been working out, but as you can tell, I've been not losing any weight. So, I got to change my diet a little bit uh, to get those so I won't look like I'm having twins. I'm ready to drop my twins now. So here we go. This is ready, nice and hot. The mushroom's done. So let me slide this out. Show you how I would plate this. So you take the tongs. So actually, let me grab da, 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 da. the trusty fish spatula. You always have a fish spatula. So you lift that up. Place that right on top of that can. You may spill a little bit, but it's okay. Now, you can either use sriracha. I'm gonna use this green dragon stuff. This green dragon sauce from Trader Joe's. This stuff is great. It's not too hot. So let me just drizzle that over the top, and bang. Now, what am I gonna drink with this today? Today, I'm doing. I'm going hardcore. I'm going hard apple cider. This is a semi-dry hard apple cider. A little sweetness to cut through some of the uh, the fat and the uh, some of the, uh, the spice of the chorizo and the crunchiness and the bitterness of the kale. So this is a for me. This is a great pair. And hey, that's dinner. So there's <laughs> plenty of time to go to. Uh, your virtual happy hour. I appreciate you for showing up today. Like I said, when you get done with the uh, with this video, with this live stream, please click my link. Go to my uh, Insta page. I mean, my Insta page. My, <laughs> my YouTube page and subscribe. 
your support is, is appreciated more than you know. Um, and I'd like to thank you for showing up tonight. And remember, my name is Chef Troy B. And this is I Got the Dishes. And my reward is an empty plate. Y'all have a great weekend. Have a great week. And Lord willing, I'll be here next week with something else different and new to try. Have a good night.